Hello children, a very good morning to all of you once again and welcome in our class 11th English and today we are going to start a new chapter from Hornbill and that is chapter number 5. Okay, that is the ailing planet, the green movement stroll by Nani Palkiwala. So this chapter is an, uh, actually an article. If you look into your book, page number, if you look into your book, page number 43. The very first page, it has been described as the following article was written by Nani Palkiwala and was published in the Indian Express on 24th November 1994. The issues that he raised regarding the declining health of the earth continue to have relevance. So our author has actually written an article and this article was published in the leading newspaper. Okay, so that article we are going to study and uh, oh, it's all about the ailing planet which planet is definitely earth and why earth has been actually termed as ailing ailing means sick means the signs which are the earth is showing it seems that the earth is in like it is in a sick state means in a ill health state or rather earth can be called as a patient so what are the vital signs like if we are human beings then uh, we definitely uh, if we become a patient if I become a patient then definitely I have some abnormality within my uh, in my body means the vital signs like BP sugar or something like thing or my breathing it gets dropped from that gradual or it gets increased from the normal point rate my heart be. So then we considered it as a sick or ailing personality and we considered it as a patient. So here our author actually considered the ailing planet means our earth has been considered as ailing planet. The green movement's role. So what is the movement of this green? What is this green factor we are going to study about? So the theme of the chapter is Holistic view of the world means the entire holistic means overall parameters we are going to deal about the planet earth then earth has become like an ailing patient means here the author always also discuss about how the earth is considered to be a living organism as we human being are living beings and earth is also be cons is, uh, has been considered as a living organism living being and how the uh, conditions of the earth are declining or its vital signs are deteriorating as we have different vital signs like BP, heart rate uh, our temperature like this but uh, earth has also its different parameters so how those parameters are declining and idea of sustainable development okay means what is sustainable development it means that there is a problem okay that earth has become a patient and there is a there is a actually a treatment for it and this treatment is idea of sustainable development so in uh, in the entire uh, on the entire note we can take it like our author tries to convey us with the theme that earth is sick and definitely there is the treatment of its sickness how and where and when we can treat it in the best possible way we have to look forward to it so we are going to start our chapter from page number 43 listen to it very carefully one cannot recall any movement in the world's history sorry before i should read uh, there are so many expressions which needs to be clarified so kindly take out your copies and pen and we should actually write first of all all these expressions and then i will be explaining you uh, the entire chapter so always when you look for the video before looking for the video kind of sit along with your book along with your copies and along with your pen so that you can note down the best things so first we will go for the expressions the first expression is a holistic and ecological view a holistic and e ecological view it means a comprehensive 
view of ecology a comprehensive view of ecology a comprehensive view of ecology which takes into account which takes into account all things all things okay so i will uh, cite this and i will make you understand holistic uh, holistic ecological view means it means that all things are considered okay account all things holistic means the total total things are taking being considered second is sustainable development sustainable this is very very important point sustainable development sustainable development what do you mean by sustainable development development that take care development that takes care of takes care this word is going to repeat like anything takes care of the present needs the present needs and ensures at the same time and ensures at the same time ensures at the same time that there are enough resources that there are enough resources for the future i have very less space still i'm trying to write it i will speak once again so this is very very important this word is going to be coined this terminology is going to be coined uh continuously in the entire it can be it, be it can be taken as the main terminology of this chapter what is sustainable development sustainable development uh, in a very simple word we take care of the present and the future both means if we are utilizing the natural resources at the present time it should not be at the cost of the future or it should not be at the cost of environment that we are overusing it and nothing remains for the future so it means that development that takes care of the present needs excuse me and it ensures at the same time that there are enough resources for the future also okay my dear children now i hope you have written it now third one is language so we are going to, there is not space so i'm just rubbing it out so you write along with me because i am making you understand along with it So the third one is language. Language means grow weak. Language means grow weak. Number fourth expression is ignominious darkness. Ignominious darkness. and it means this honorable oblivion it means i will just write there is no awareness there is no awareness about many species about many species this is a shameful matter this is a shame full matter okay it means that ignominious darkness means means human beings are not updated about their environment what all species grow as a living being around in their ecological balance and that is very shameful for human beings and that's why the ecological balance is also being disturbed okay number 5 is inter alia inter alia means among other things 
enter alia among other things okay it means among other things next is decimated 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 means killed or destroyed in large number killed or destroyed in large numbers so how many are destroyed many other species are destroyed in large number it means decimated now we are moving ahead with two more are their expressions 7 and 8 seven number 7 is catastrophic depletion catastrophic depletion catastrophic depletion ruinous reduction means it is ruined away ruinous reduction it means recklessly dangerously it is going to cause this danger that way we are actually using our resources in a catastrophic manner and last one is transcending concern transcending concern chief worry chief worry main anxiety okay so here we have finished our meanings and explanation of these expressions catastrophic very dangerous way we are depleting our resources and transcending concern means the main worry okay that is causing the anxiety level very high so we will we are going to start our chapter one cannot recall any movement in the world history which has gripped the imagination of the entire human race so completely and so rapidly as the green movement which started nearly 25 years ago so when this book was written or rather this article in 1994 was written before that one movement has been talked about that is green movement in 1972 the world's first nation wide green party was founded in new zealand since then the movement has not looked back so here the our author is talking about one movement and that movement is called as green movement and this green movement was started now underline this thing and you can note it down This chapter is very very important, and uh, this chapter uh, makes a lot of questions. Means from examination point of view, a lot of questions frame up. So this green movement was started in New Zealand in nineteen seventy two. Okay, it was started in New Zealand in nineteen seventy two, and we have shifted once hope irrevocably. Sorry, uh, the from the mechanistic. a uh, view to a holistic and ecological view of the earth world sorry okay so uh, irrevocably means that cannot uh, it's not possible uh, but we have shifted we have tried to shift this green movement the main theme of this green movement role is to shift the view uh, holistic view and ecology means people should be aware about the total environment of the world it is not like that that people are only considered uh, to be a part of this planet thinking selfishly but their orientation needs to be upgraded upgraded in every term it is a shift in human perceptions means recognitions as a revolutionary as that 